Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you checking it out. Anyone first time, welcome. Hope you enjoy it. After this video, check out other videos. I'm sure there's something here that can help you out with your dog. Today's video is all about introducing new equipment to your dog. And specifically today, we're talking about the Holti, the Gentle Leader, which I think is a great tool. One of the main reasons I like it is that once you get the dog used to it, it sort of trains the dog for you. You don't need to be highly skilled. It does the work for you. The biggest effort people have with these is learning how to introduce it to the dog. Commonly, I'll train someone and have a dog that pulls and I say, have you tried one of these? And they'll say, yes, I have, but I gave up. And it's always the same reason, because the dog was rolling around, the dog hit the ground, they couldn't walk, and they didn't know how to get the dog used to it, so they gave up on it which is a shame because it's a good piece of equipment. So I'm gonna show you how to introduce it to your dog. Now, Nash has never worn this. First time he's actually seen one today. So you're gonna see a true response out of my dog. Could be a good one, could be a bad one. Some dogs, you put these on and then within two minutes, they go, eh, I'm used to it and they walk. Others take 10 minutes. It depends on the dog, but it mainly depends on how you introduce it. So if you jam this on your dog and then start dragging him around, it instantly has a negative connection to this dog, a negative equipment association, and we don't want that. We want to create positive equipment association. As much as you may need to force the dog to walk with you, we can do it in ways that are more encouraging. The biggest thing about this is when the dog walks, we release the pressure quickly. So this is going to be it. This is going to be the first time. A good way to get your dog to put it onto their nose, grab a piece of food, put it through your lead like so, so the dog does this, and before you know it, you slip it over the nose. You want to know how to put it on quickly because the more you roll around and fuss around with it, the bigger drama it's going to be to the dog. So you want to learn how to get these on quickly and adjust it right. Make sure you've got the correct size for you, whichever brand you're using. So my hands are going to go through here. Nash, come here, buddy. Get my dog around here. Sit. Good boy. What's this? Good boy. So initially, so that's how easy you can slip it on. Now initially, they don't do much because it doesn't feel that big a deal because you're not pulling around. So this is what has, starts happening. What I want you to do, once you've got it on your dog, connect your lead, but do not drag your dog around with it. I want you to let your dog have a bit of a play like this. Don't let them take it off, but let them get used to it to a degree. Okay, so we're gonna be very gentle with this at the start because it feels foreign to him. It doesn't hurt him, but he's like, what is this thing on my nose? So I keep, it's a bit like breaking in a wild bull. So I give him a second to do his thing like this. I'm not gonna hurt him. I don't wanna create any negativity with it. But now I'm gonna encourage him just with a piece of food. If food doesn't work, you just have to use your voice. But we try and somewhat distract him from the item. What's this, buddy? What's this? Nash, nash, nash. What's this? Good boy. And just get him walking with the food. Sit. So he gets, good boy. I'm not a big food user, but for certain times it works great. What's this? Good boy. Just encourage him. See, I'm keeping no pressure on the lead. Sit. Good boy. Just getting him used to walking around with it and sort of trying to forget about it. Now, as he gets used to it, this is the normal reaction. When they do that, just try and redirect. Good boy, come, 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 come. The second they start putting on a bit of an act, good boy. Hey, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good boy. Sit. But what you're not seeing me do is drag the dog. If I pull, he's going to pull backwards and it's going to be a big wrestling match. Let's go, buddy. I want him to walk. Good boy. Come, buddy. <laughs> Good boy. They get used to it pretty quick if you do it the right way. That's normal too. <laughs> Remember, don't get cranky at them. Let's go, buddy. It feels funny to them, but they get used to it very quick and it will change how your dog walks. Good boy. That's the way. You're doing good, bud. Come on, quick, 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 quick. So he's already starting to give up the fight as such. Remember, when he does this, let's go, let's go. Little pull, but then pressure off. You must release this pressure. Release the pressure. Good boy. Let's go, buddy. Good boy. Try and make a game of it. Hey, just get him used to walking around. We're not doing heels, we're not doing anything. I just want to get him walking. Come, nash, 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 nash. Good boy, what's this? Distract him from the fight. Hey, let's go, let's go. Good boy, come on, quick, quick. But don't give up. 
there's still going to be a minute, there's still going to be time where he's going to hit the deck and roll around. Just encourage him. Don't let him win the fight. If they hit the deck and they start protesting, your job is to use your voice, use food, whatever it takes, encourage them to walk. And the second they get up, let the fight off. Reduce it. Don't pull pressure. I, this is the most important thing why Dom's don't get used to it. If I start pulling him now, he's going to pull back and it's going to create a wrestling match. Remember, use your voice. Nash, let's go. Yeah, good boy. Try to avoid pulling the lead. Let's go. Good boy. Trying to shake it off. That's the way. Good boy. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Yes. This is the first time he's ever had it on. Good boy. Yeah. There we go. That's the way. Help. Do a little bit of healing now. Come, buddy. Good boy. Nash, sit. Good. See how gentle that was? Help. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Little protest there. Pressure off the lead. Let's go, bud. Good. Nash, sit. Down. Good boy. Nash, sit. Quick. Up here. Good boy. Help. Let's go. Quick. It's getting good now. Let's go, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Look at you now. Heel. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. See that little pull? Little pop. Tiny. Good boy. We're nearly there. Nash. Sit. Down. Good boy. Heel. A little bit more. Let's go. Heel. Good boy, come on. Sit, down. Stay. Free, yeah, good boy. Then get a toy, get something, reward them. Yes, what's this? There it is. End on a happy note like that. End it as a positive experience. He hasn't got any negative memories from the equipment. I didn't yank him around or use my voice and motivate. Some dogs are a lot harder than that. I've had dogs way worse, but it is the same principle. You just have to be more patient. Some dog, it's the same exact system, but just realize you may take 10 minutes of encouraging, getting them going. But remember when they hit the deck, use your voice. Don't drag the dog. Little pull, but the second they give up the fight and start to move, let that lead off. So they go, oh good, I'm walking of my own fruition. If you drag them, Remember I keep saying, I know I've repeated over and over, it's gonna make them pull back against you. You have to teach them that if you are here, if the leader's loose, it is all, all good. There's no pressure on the lead. It's very, very important. But do it with patience, anything you use, whatever you put on your dog, harness, halty, but the halty is particular because around their muzzle, they find it a bit foreign, but it's worth persisting with because it's a great piece of equipment and it will change how your dog walks. Hope this video helps you out. If you enjoy it, I appreciate you subscribing. Hit the little bell icon so that it lets you know when I do new videos. Maybe give me a like, tell others about it. It is appreciated. I hope you're enjoying my information and like my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. See you, everyone.